Welcome to the Roguecraft Squadron Developer Log. Roguecraft Squadron, or RCS, is a game where real-time strategy meets roguelike. For more information, check out our website at roguecraftsquadron.com. We've had our times for South by Southwest Gaming confirmed. Big shout out to the IGDA for setting this up and letting us have time slots. We will be presenting at the booth on Thursday, March 15th from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and on Friday, March 16th from 3.45 p.m. to 6 p.m. We will be at the southeast corner of Event Halls 1 and 2 at the IGDA booth. So, big shout out today to Elliot Krasny. We've been working, he's been working on a new track for us and you can hear it in the background right now. We're hoping to bring a cleaned up version to South by Southwest Gaming for people to listen to and enjoy. For any font nuts out there, we've updated our choice of Jan Tramanov Black to Jan Tramanov Regular. We're hoping this makes a lot of the text a little more legible. We've added satellites to the game. With a simple upgrade, you can now you, you will now be able to make units from your command ship that will keep vision in an area until you jump to the next level. Greetings. A big change to the game is the introduction of research pods. Instead of having to surrender to gain five research points, or win of course, now you have to collect them in game. We feel that this will encourage players to explore a little more. This also leads into our next point. Every time you jump, if you have research points, you'll be able to upgrade your research tree mid-game. This has been a long time coming, and the technical problems have been taken care of to be able to do this. We're hoping that this makes the game more fun and allows for a better gameplay experience. After much internal debate, we finally added a second Warning. Fog of War system. I'm hoping this doesn't blow people's computers up, but I think it really looks great. There's also a bug where mines don't have health, which makes them invincible. Players thought it was a little unfair they couldn't Greetings. blow them up if they noticed them, so I fixed that up by giving them a little bit of health. And finally, we're working on a UI overhaul. We're working on a Command & Conquer style bar, where we can have the minimap, resource display, some basic system buttons, ship information, ship actions, and the jump ready section. Thank you for listening, and until then, this is Seppi, signing off.